Do you remember that film with Johnny Depp, Edward Scissorhands? I was just thinking that if someone will ever make a movie called Edward Scissorlegs, that should be the movie about inline skaters. Hello YouTubers, my name is Nixvi, and you are on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it. And yeah, you guess it right. Today we will be talking about the scissor position on skates. Scissor position is one of the most important positions in skating. We start from the basic stance. The second stance is scissor position. This is the most stable position and the simplest position in inline skating. Scissor position looks like that. And I think it's pretty obvious why it is called scissor position. I think that it is called so because by skating in that position we are cutting the holes in the black and boring reality to the great reality of inline skating. Because it looks like scissors. It can also be called sometimes raptor position because I will make like this. I will be looking like a raptor. So how to get into the proper scissor position? Let's take our basic stance and just make like this. Okay? And that's all. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment and so on. I'm kidding, of course. I will tell you more tips. So let's take a look at our legs. You can see here that our back leg is totally in the basic stance, so the knee is in front of the front wheel. The front leg is not that bent, it could be a little bit less bent than in the basic stance. The distribution of the weight between the legs is about equal, but you can play with it a little bit. A little bit to the front, a little bit to the back. Usually when I see some obstacle in front of me, I put more weight on the back leg, so the front foot just scanning the surface and the back foot enters to the surface already ready to what it will meet there. So what is the main advantage of the scissor position? Let's make a small obstacle. Okay, so if you're skating in basic stance and one of your feet meets an obstacle like that, you're starting to lose your balance and you have to put your other foot in front like that. Yes, you will get that bump and probably you will fall. But if you are skating in the scissor position, your front foot is already in that position and you don't need to make that additional step. You are already balanced. Just a small weight transfer here and you keep rolling. The same is with the front foot. So if I'm skating like this, started losing my weight, I'm putting the weight on the back foot and I'm okay. What is also crucial is that if you're standing in, in the scissor position, your feet should be on the outer edge of the wheels, like that, not like that. So outer edges, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. The width of the position is like one skate goes after another skate. On some difficult surfaces it could be a little bit wider and to make it wider you don't have to have a good stretch like a gymnast. No, you just have to turn your torso a little bit like you are going sidewards. You know that sideward, sidewards move. Yeah, but here you don't need, of course, to make a sidewards move. You just need to move your torso and that will be okay. You can make it wider, almost like you had a third foot here. Yeah? I just thought that making a parallel slide with three feet will be much difficult when with two feet. It's already difficult with two, but but how to understand how to move all of your free feet, yeah. It's good that we have only two feet. Let's move to some demonstration. So I have here the change of the surfaces, so the good asphalt, 
turns into some ground with some grass, some small stones inside it. And of course it's a very rough surface for inland skating. Let me just show how it works. Okay. You can see that I really don't do anything. I just take my scissor position and I'm just rolling. And of course it's a little bit easier with the big wheels, but with 4 by 80 you will be making it without any any big difficulties. Yes, with one foot and with another foot. If I will try to make the same in my basic stance, it will be pretty difficult. Yes, look at that. You can see that my body is wobbling trying to find that proper center of weight and in stable scissor position I don't even move my body a lot. So that's all for today. This is the scissor position, the most stable and very simple position for inline seating that you should know. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like that video, to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and to leave a comment. I love comments. You can also share that video in your social media if you wish to. I will be very grateful for that. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video and in the next tutorial. Bye bye.